Hey, what's going on guys? Mr. The Reverts here and today I'm bringing you guys a breakdown of the new technology we're getting in Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I'm going to give you guys a little breakdown on all the images that I've received. This is going to be on Charlie Intel. There's a link to their article down below in the description if you guys want to go check it out. But in this video, I'm going to be breaking down what I see in the images and I'm going to give you guys some information on what I think is going to be in the game and stuff like that. So let's go ahead and get started. So for the first image that I have for you guys, I don't know, really know what the name of this is called, but it kind of looks like a Titan from Titanfall. If you guys ever played that, you get to go inside this giant mech suit and you just got to go rape on these guys. That's kind of why the uh, name is called Titanfall. Uh, but what it looks like from here, I guess we're just going to call it a Titan. Uh, it looks like it has like a death machine from like Black Ops 1, if you guys ever played that. It looks like it has a death machine in one of its arms and it looks like this actually might be a kill streak. I don't know. I'm just making some speculation and some theories uh, we've seen this before in Titanfall like I said and they might actually implement this into Call of Duty because like we've heard before from other rumors that uh, Call of Duty Advanced Warfare is gonna be ex almost exactly like Titanfall in a way and uh, I would this wouldn't really surprise me if this would be in the game Okay guys, for the second image that I have for you is actually kind of cool. If you guys ever saw Star Wars or played Star Wars Battlefront as a kid, you will know that they had these hover bikes in the, in the game or in the movie. And it looks like uh, that they're bringing this into Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. Uh, this looks really, really cool guys. If you can tell from the side of the image, it looks like that there's guns mounted on the side of the bikes. And that's that's really, really cool guys. I mean, this at all, this I really wouldn't be surprised at all if it's going to be a kill streaks in the game. Uh, this just looks really, really fun to use. And I'm going to read you guys some descriptions from this hover bike. It says, The windshield is composed of smart glass allowing the UI to meld with others in the game. The angular armor designed to deflect any enemy fire shifts with the bikes as it moves. Players ride the advanced one-man bikes through the flooded streets of, De of Detroit, fleeing from enemy forces at high speeds. Now this sounds really, really cool. And we also do kind of maybe get a hint of the map. Uh, it says the flooded streets of Detroit. That actually might be a map in the game. We don't have a name for it, but uh, who knows? Maybe that is actually a map. Uh, like I said, it is a one-man bike. And that, that that's what kind of leads me on to it being a kill streak because it is a one-man uh, bike, like I said. And, and what I get from this is that the maps actually might be kind of medium to large ranks to large range map size like we've seen uh, before like in Call of Duty Ghost I don't know these are just my theories because if you if you're gonna have this big if you're gonna have this bike uh, go around the whole entire map uh, you probably the game designers probably want it to be fun and more enjoyable by uh, putting in bigger maps so I don't know maybe this might be a, a kill streak it might not let me know what y'all think in the comment section so for the third image that I have for you guys is really, really cool. If you guys have heard in the news that people are starting to make these 3D printed guns and stuff like that, other 3D printed uh, weapons and other items. There's, I know there's a lot of videos on the 3D printed wrench that I've seen. Uh, they're actually kind of cool. If I, if I can find a video about that, I will link it down below in the description if you guys want to go check that out. It's really, really cool how to do it, but back on topic. So what you're looking at right here is a 3D printed rifle, and this looks so futuristic, guys. It looks really, really cool. Um, from the description that we have here it says sledgehammer is tapping into re revelant modern 3d printer technology for this weapon and inspiration looking far into the future to see what might be possible on the battlefield players load in a canister of liquid matter and rack it up by pulling back on the bolt once secure house the internal computer begins printing ammunition ammunition on the spot players can see the number of bullets created as the digital ammo counter increases so that chamber is still tinkering with the fire rate of, and power of the 3D printer rifle, but it should dramatically reduce reload time. So that's really, really cool. And if you guys can tell from the description, it said that you get to put this liquid matter inside the canister and then uh, you pull it back. So I guess that's how the bullets are going to be uh, made in the game. I don't know. This this, this still kind of boggles me. I'm not really all too sure about these 3D, these 3D printed rifles. Um, yeah, it looks really, really cool, the concept of it, but we still need a little bit more information about it. Like it, like they said in the description down below, they said that they're still tinkering with the gun and they haven't really made final changes to the gun, and I can't wait to see what Sledgehammer does with that. 
I'm pretty sure most of you guys know who have seen the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare trailer. You all will know that they've added these exosuits into the game. And I'm going to be doing a breakdown on these and what I see. So uh, here's a description on it. The exo is the mechanical backbone of Advanced Warfare's journey to, into the year 2054. And I, I just want to touch in on this really fast, guys. I read on an article somewhere. If I could find out, I'll, I'll leave a link to that in the description. Um, what they said is that they they kind of the scientists and the game developers and designers for this game they did research on it and they actually thought about uh, all the, all the content all the futuristic stuff and everything like the 3D printed rifles and the uh, hover bikes and things like that. Well, um, I did some research on this and and I found out that all the advanced weaponry that we're seeing in this game is actually gonna might actually be in uh, in the year 2050. Um, so that's actually re really, really cool. Again, if I can find that, I'll leave a link to that in the description. But back on topic to the exosuits. And uh, again, with the description, the Sledgehammer universe, the exo begins as a clunky mechanical suit that becomes more elegant as technology and designs evolve. Modern day exosuits prototypes are bulky and require heavy batteries to operate. But these strength and agility augmentating suits become more sleek and versat versatile in advanced warfare's future. The exo allows players to jump high run faster lift heavy objects and more players can even punch through doors to initiate to initiate initiate the dramatic slow motion breach sequence from previous Call of Duty games certain characters can also enter mechanical suits with moving plates of heavy armor that quickly protect them shown in the image above and if you guys can tell there's like these little uh, outlines where where your body goes in so that's actually really really cool now what I think about the exosuits is that these are kind of be gonna, gonna kind of be like the perks in the game you can put on attachments for your exosuits everyone's gonna have one in a multiplayer game you can uh, put on attachments you can either be strength you can either be uh, run fast you can either climb walls etc so that's what I think about the exosuits and I'm I'm almost positive these are gonna be in multiplayer it really wouldn't surprise me if, if they are because um they've been like everywhere in the trailer and, and the, oh, so many people think that they're so cool to have in the game and it's honestly wouldn't surprise me at all if they're going to be in the game so uh the exosuits look really really cool i'm really looking forward to being one and yeah let me know what y'all think so for the last image that I have for you guys looks really really badass. So what we're looking at here looks like the new Helo Pilot or Chopper Gunner from recent Call of Duties. I'm not really sure what it's going to be called but this I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is what it is. Um, I'm not sure if it's a one man vehicle or maybe more people can get in it. I'm not really all too sure but this looks like the new Helo Pilot or Chopper Gunner. Uh, I'm prom pretty sure that this is going to be what that is and uh, so yeah it has like those little uh, missiles on the side and yeah or maybe the gunship like we saw in black ops 1 i don't know guys this looks so futuristic it's kind of hard to predict and think about uh what the new equipment and new kill streaks guns etc everything in the game it's going to be kind of hard to predict what they are because everything's from the future and we haven't really seen much of that for at all so yeah let me know what y'all think about all of these images in the comment section down below let me know what y'all think of advanced warfare i think the game is, is actually going to be kind of good um yeah let me know what y'all think about that i might be uploading a lot more videos like these adva advanced warfare news uh, call of duty ghost news any call of duty community related news i'm going to be uploading i'm i'm probably going to be uploading a lot the whole week and the whole summer because i'm going to have a lot of free time on my hands and yeah i'm just going to bring you guys a lot of content and so yeah i'm so excited for advanced warfare let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below please leave a like if you did enjoy and subscribe for more guys this is Reverts, and I'll see y'all later. Peace.